Good evening. I'm Deacon Rubik Maelian, Chairman of the St. John Armenian Church Music Guild. On behalf of the members of the Music Guild, I thank you for joining us in our first virtual organ recital featuring virtuoso musician, organist Charles Miller. Charles' biography is extensive. We have included that in the flyer and online for your information. So please take some time to read it. He has been in music ministry for 40 years in number of churches as organist and music director. Featured in solo recitals in many places, both locally and nationally. He has played at the National Cathedral and Kennedy Center in Washington, DC, St. Thomas Church and Brick Presbyterian Church in New York City, York Minister and St. Paul's Cathedral in London. He has performed three times for the Spoleto Festival in South Carolina and his 1995 performance was featured on NPR's Pipe Dreams program, which I love to watch every Sunday. In addition to his music ministry position at Cherry Hill Presbyterian Church, Charles is the president and owner of Philip Truckenbroad Concert Artists, a concert booking and artist management agency for concert organists. Before we begin the concert, I would like to take this opportunity to thank our dear friends and patron of the arts for their financial support. Without your kind and generous contributions, the Music Guild will not be able to bring such programs to you. My gratitude also goes to St. John staff, to St. John Parish Council members under Michael Tamajian chairmanship, Father Aren and Father Armash for their support, Jack Hale for preparing this video to broadcast to you, Mardi Shushenian and Versicom for preparing the flyer and mailing, and members of the Music Guild organization. Although the pandemic has caused live events to go virtual, we are hoping that soon we will begin our normal concert series with your presence in our beautiful sanctuary, watching live. So without further ado, let us enjoy Charles Miller performance this evening. Thank you. Good evening, friends of St. John's Armenian Church. It's a great pleasure for me to be here in this marvelous building and I've taken great inspiration uh, from the architecture, from the stained glass windows, and the general overall beauty of this place, as well as the marvelous hybrid pipe organ, digital organ, uh, in this marvelous acoustic. And uh, I'm grateful to uh, Rubik for inviting me to be a part of this music uh, series here at the church. I begin with a work of the great master Johann Sebastian Bach, his Fantasy and Fugue in C minor. This was a work that was composed relatively early in Johann Sebastian Bach's life and was very inspired by chamber music of the time, particularly um, works by other composers that employed two different orchestras, one large orchestra and a smaller orchestra. And these two orchestras played together, but then also uh, had dialogue with each other back and forth. And so in this uh, Fantasia, you will hear that the, the organ opens up with a very full sound, and then it drops back down to sort of a chamber orchestra sound. Uh, and then this is followed uh, by a marvelous and vivacious fugue. Uh, very much uh, in character with uh, his uh, mentor, uh, uh, Dietrich Buxtehude, whom he really admired and traveled great distance on foot to go hear uh, him perform. 
So it's this youthful, uh, vivacious Bach that we get to hear in the fugue. So here we go with Fantasia and Fugue in C minor.
Georg Friedrich Handel is known to many people around the world almost exclusively for his oratorio, The Messiah. However, Handel produced a remarkable amount of keyboard music and chamber music and vocal solos and um, uh, instrumental combinations of all sorts. And his style is very much like Bach in uh, the fugue that you've just heard, in the fact that much of Handel's music is remarkably uplifting and bright and cheery. And so in this time of, of spring and, and new life and, and all of that, the birds have returned to Michigan and are, are singing their song outside. I thought I would include three small fugues by this great master. Unlike the C minor fugue that you heard by Johann Sebastian Bach, these are very intimate and they're only for the uh, keyboards. Uh, the first one in the key of C major is um, basically just three voices and so you'll hear the theme in the, uh, the first uh, opening a couple of bars and then it, you'll hear it uh, both in the, in the right hand and in the left hand at, at various points. The second fugue in the key of F major is very much kind of like a bird song. Uh, it's, it's light and it features all of the flute stops on this marvelously flexible instrument. The third fugue, again in the key of C major, is a little bit more um, hearty and um, you'll hear um, a lot of the bass registers and um, I've chosen to select uh, a registration on this instrument that shows the, the reed stops, so oboes and clarinets and um, uh, English horns and that kind of sonority. So it's a little bit of a different approach to this remarkably lively music.
organ sonatas. They are not in the style of a typical Baroque sonata form. For those of you who, who might know what sonata form is, um, with a, a theme which is developed and then the theme returns and uh, is developed again and then returns. And Mendelssohn knew of that form and created many uh, traditional sonatas, particularly for the piano. His organ sonatas actually are a collection of individual works that ended up being turned into sonatas by a publisher in London who liked all of these works and felt that they belonged in little sets. And so the third sonata is in uh, three different movements, quite contrasting. Uh, it opens with a very hymn-like uh, section, its opening statement, it's very grand. And then that is followed by a very lovely and lilting uh, andante tranquillo, very uh, charming and unassuming and uh, relatively quiet and delicate. And that ends on some of the softest stops on the organ. Then the third movement is a grand scale fugue. And there are two sections to this fugue. And in the pedals, you will hear the melody, the German melody, Aus tiefer Note, Out of the Depths I Cry to Thee, which is the text of Psalm 130, very appropriate for this time of Lent. And so you will hear that theme uh, playing in the pedals. And then Mendelssohn kind of revs up the energy in a, uh, the second section of this fugue. And then he builds and builds and builds and then closes with a much grander statement of that opening hymn-like section uh, on nearly full organ. So here is uh, Mendelssohn's very varied sonata number three.
the past several months, I have had the great privilege of coming to St. John's to serve as organist for a number of weddings and to participate in the taping of the Christmas Eve service here. And it's been a joy to get uh, familiarized with the remarkably complex and diverse and captivating music of the Armenian church. And so I was asked today to include three pieces of Armenian music. Normally these would be sung with a cantor or a soloist, but we've adapted them for organ solo. The first is Amen, Holy Father. The second is called New Flower. And the third is the traditional setting of the Lord's Prayer. <laughs> 